Thanks, Angela. You know, we've been hearing from so many of you that want to know what is the current situation at our hospitals right now? We're getting answers. We're talking to the leaders of all the area hospitals. And for example, earlier today, I spoke with the chief medical affairs director at Franciscan Health. He says right now they are expecting a surge in patients in about two weeks. And that patient level could be about four times the current number of critical care patients that they're taking care of right now. I mean, the curve has gone almost straight up for the last three weeks in, uh, you know, in, in comparing our modeling or our experience uh, and the models to other areas that are maybe two or three weeks ahead of us. Um, it does appear that we're headed to uh, more uh, dire times, but uh, we are taking a lot more aggressive uh, interventions in the community uh, to try to stem the tide here. And so, you know, we'll see how it plays out. Hopefully we'll get it under control uh, more so maybe than it has been in other places. When you're talking about you're looking at maybe 40 to 50 uh, patients per day that, that may be uh, COVID-19 cases, and you're talking about a surge in two weeks, what are the numbers that you are anticipating at this point in two weeks, yeah. given where things are now? Yeah, we're, we're prepared to deal with up to probably four four times the number of critical care patients, uh, that, that would really hit, hit sort of the ceiling that we could expand to just based on the number of machines that we have access to. Um, of course, as you probably know, the city and the state are working together to uh, create a surge uh, cap capability in town uh, that would expand uh, even beyond, you know, what each individual hospital and health system is able to do. So, mm -hmm. um, again, a lot of the uh, governors in place, the restrictions that would be in place on that uh, will be due to uh, access to equipment when we get to that point. He also said that right now there are a lot of people that are making masks and donating them. He said right now they don't need them, but they are accepting them right now because they just certainly looking ahead, just don't know where this is all gonna go. He also called for this, something that I was shocked to hear about. He said he wanted an end of online attacks of healthcare workers. He said healthcare workers right now are following the guidelines of who to test and who not to. And so they're not testing all the patients who request it. However, the patients are getting angry, naming those healthcare workers online and shaming them and bullying. He says that is something that definitely has to stop. Scott. Wow, that is shocking to hear. And thanks. Well, the NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt is also working tonight to answer your questions. Here's our chief medical correspondent, Dr. John Torres, with one thing you should know today. Hi, Dr. John here with what you need to know about coronavirus today. It's Friday, March 27th. Here's the headline. There's been a lot of news lately about ventilators and how many do we really need? With some people saying we don't need that many, other people saying we need a lot more than we have. Well, first off, a ventilator is a machine we use to help somebody breathe, especially if they're suffering from the critical issues of coronavirus. It can keep them alive until their body heals and they can get off that machine. The problem is right now, especially in hotspot areas, there's an overcapacity of people with coronavirus, and many of those are taking up machines for two or three weeks, which means we don't have the capacity if more patients surge in, to the point where some hospitals are looking at teeing off ventilators. In other words, using one ventilator for two patients. The problem there is you have to look at things like tidal volume, respiratory rate, pressure of air you put in there, so the patients have to be matched very closely. It's only used in contingency situations, like during the Las Vegas shooting, and can only be used temporarily. So getting more ventilators is the key to making sure more people stay alive, especially if we start getting more patients. Now, we're learning more about this virus every minute. So tune in to learn more tonight on NBC Nightly News. There are 